I've often wondered myself, you know, what is the benefit of hunting? And is there a real advantage in the cost associated with either hunting for your meat versus just going to the store and buying meat? So today I just thought I'd explore some of the costs of the hunts I've done over the past number of years and just some of my thoughts associated with hunting versus purchasing meat. I have a friend that teaches one of the hunter education courses here in Utah, a class that is required for all hunters before they can purchase their first hunting license. One time he shared how he asked one of his classes this question, why do you want to hunt? And it was interesting, you know, he got a number of different responses and but one of the responses he got was, oh, I want free meat. <laughs> and anyway, so he took a minute and stopped and shared with this um, individual that was in his class about some of the costs associated with hunting. So maybe to start off, in my youth, it seemed as if wildlife near the city in which I lived were plentiful. I'd go out with my dad up into the mountains and it seemed like we'd see dozens of deer all together jumping out here and there. And over time, it's interesting, that's changed. I think I see dozens of hunters and then only one or two deer on occasion. All right, let's start out with some of the big game animals that we do hunt. A couple key things to remember are shot placement, how quickly you can get the animal off the mountain, whether you hang the animal and dry it out will all play into how much meat you receive out of the animal that you harvest. So as we look at these, I might typically get maybe 45 pounds of meat out of a mule deer, maybe 100 pounds of meat out of an elk. And those are just examples, but I'm gonna use those figures as we move forward and look at the overall cost of meat. All right, let's start with gear. Here's a list, if I was a new hunter, of just the very basic gear that I think you'd need to start out to go hunting. If I go to the store, I could expect to pay approximately $4 a pound, on average, across the cuts of beef that my family would use. Now, the cost of game meat that you see here were figures that I came up with by dividing a low budget estimate of hunting gear and the fees required to hunt here in Utah by the number of pounds that you would get out of these two game animals. Well, it doesn't look so good. If I'm a deer hunter, I figured you would lose money on an annual basis to hunt over purchase your meat. Elk, you get a little bit more meat out of your elk for the value and how much it costs. It would take five to six years of being successful to break even over those one-time costs to become a hunter. It's interesting, one of the things I found is a lot of the costs associated with hunting really has to do with the gear that we accumulate. At least that's true for myself. All right, how this works is, if I'm a deer hunter and I'm estimating it's gonna cost me to hunt deer about 670 a pound, well, depending on my gear, if I want to use a truck, I'm going to add $30 a pound to that. So I'm looking at my cost to hunt deer is about $36.70 um, per pound. Let me break it down like this. Let me show you what hunters are willing to pay. Reminds me of an awful addiction, doesn't it? The harm here is not to your health, but to the bank account. Here's a great example of this in practice. The Utah Division of Wildlife Resources has been offering these premium tags where you can hunt three seasons instead of a single season and allocates areas for limited hunting rights to those who draw from a lottery. But this also comes at a premium price there's no additional value when it comes to the amount of meat that you'll be bringing home. But hunters will pay over 10 times the general permit fee to hunt in these conditions. 
back in my youth, I used to go up just with a backpack, have a snack or a lunch for the day, and it was a day hunt. I'd go along with my dad, and my costs were essentially nothing, right? Well, now I'm a father, and I'm taking my boy out. I took him out on a turkey hunt, and I think between the food, the gas, the broadheads for his arrows, and the overall trip might have cost me somewhere in the neighborhood of three to four hundred dollars. And we didn't come home with a turkey, but I realized after that trip that I could have bought probably between eight and ten turkeys off the shelf. Well, we've come full circle, and ultimately, here's the conclusion. From when I started, I wanted to learn the skills to harvest an animal and provide meat for the table. Those times, I think, are past. The costs far outweigh what you can go to the store and purchase your meat for. But I'll continue to hunt because I love it, because I love the outdoors, and... I'll always be grateful for all these many blessings that we've been blessed with. But it is interesting just to put some numbers to it, to see what the costs are, and to help us make that decision as we go forward in our outdoor adventures. I hope you enjoyed this and wish you the best in all of your outdoor excursions.